Drink more, win more. Yongeza with Mirinda. Ayabas. Terms and conditions to apply. Feel good as you start the day with Gaetano and Lucky in the morning on Capital FM. Boy, you win. Good day. Feel like that. Boy, you grow. Boy, you win. Boy, you pay. Boy, you say. Boy, you gain. Boy, you win. Fuck em all. Whoa, 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 oh, shit. It's coming every time. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. 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 Oh, Explain polyamory. Hey, explain uh, it for people to understand it. This is where. The wonderful world of polyamory. So, yeah. polyamory is from the two words. Poly meaning many, many. amor meaning love. Right. So, it's a it's an umbrella word that deals with how relationships don't have to be between one person and another. Right. It does not mean mm-hmm. just polygamy, which was what everybody thinks about when they hear polyamory. Mm-hmm. Um, polygamy What's the difference? Is, polygamy is just one. It's like a small part of polyamory, but there's a whole world. So polyandry is a woman who has more than one uh, partner. Mm-hmm. So those are the two sides. Then you can have 
different relationships where one person with two people, two people with two people, it honestly doesn't matter, or an open relationship. What matters is that you form an agreement and you're honest about the agreement. You say, look, I have desires beyond you. My friend told me, uh, and I hope he doesn't mind me putting out this out there, but mm. something that um, his partner told him, mm. and uh, she said to him, she said, I know you, I know you don't want to love rice every day. Someday you want to go for. I'll fufu. check it out. Yeah, you want yeah. fufu. You want you want Gary. You want mm. a different mm. meal. Mm. Uh huh. My right? okay. So my okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, and so. That's that's really the idea, but does that mean that you, you don't want to cheat? You want an honest and open relationship. So you may say, look, here's the deal. I'll be with, I won't fall in love with anybody, but every now and then, and I'll tell you before I'm with somebody. So it's a way to, to be honest about the fact that human beings don't always want to be with one person. That's a relatively new idea. It started in the 1700s, and Europe is the one that really pushed it around. You know world. what? When I, I grow up, I want to be like you. And uh, you've been in that, that kind of have, relationship? Yes, I have. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, I've had a couple. A couple. Do you... People who are in the relationship, and I've heard that phrase before. Yeah. Um, so when your partner is with... Mm, Somebody, Somebody else. else. Yeah. Doesn't that make you feel? Yeah, it was rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah like what, it's it's easy. It's easy for me, right? It's easier when the woman I'm dating is with another woman. It was harder to know that a woman was with a man. Mm. But then you would sit there and wait for her. She comes back and she knows you're with another no, person, and we it's would all date, good. No, we date at the same time. So okay. like, if I'm if I'm dating a woman. She's and also she's, dating somebody else. Yes. But when you need her, you get together. And it's yeah. still good. Yeah, it's fine. We oh. have rules, like there's certain things that uh. can't be within a few days of us like being together. Like okay, it has so, to be a certain amount of time. So how how the space is like three days? It varies. There's a deal for everybody. It could be two days, three days. Okay. I live on the road too, so like it's just a more practical form of life. But it doesn't mean that that's all I want. I'm okay. open to monogamy too. Mm -hmm. It's just I'm I can I can go either way. You are in your thirties, yeah. Yeah. Uh, is this something that you're going to be doing uh, for the rest of your life, or polyamory or music? The music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the polyamorous music. <laughs> Uh, what if, how are you going to be doing this? No, yeah, music I'll be doing. Um, acting I'll do more of. I'll run a couple of shows in the States, but I'll be doing uh, more. I, I actually want to do Hollywood and Hollywood and Bollywood mm. by the end of my life. I okay. Wanna, that's like, that's my goal. That's your goal right yeah. there. Yeah. So uh, and besides that, I want I want to make sure that I'm in the ear of uh, some of these greedy politicians on our continent mm -hmm. and some of the greedy politicians in the U.S. So. Mm. But they're really, so really politicians all over everywhere. The world. I mean, it's just yeah. the word politician and greedy. I'm being synonymous. specific about the territory Africa. that I care about. Okay. Okay. Africa and then, and then the diaspora, specific, specifically the U.S. So yeah. this album, 85 to Africa, was very important to you. You yeah. know, uh, this is when you decided to come back, you know, touch your roots and do different music with different people. Mm. Recently, uh, the Lion King album was released. Yeah. And we were so mad that Lion King, the story, comes East from Africa. East Africa. Yeah, didn't have East and Africa there was either. no East Africa. I mean, Banaboy yeah, is on it, too. we have Nigerians on it. Uh, yeah. What do you make I of that? I, I wish I, I would have consulted on that project. I think it was a great project, but I, I already knew as soon as I saw the track list. I was like, oh, man. Like, it's a problem here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a, it, it'd be an issue. And I think it would have been easy for me to communicate that. Mm -hmm. Like, if you do, um, let's say you do an album about, like, let's, the civil rights uh, uh, movement. Mm -hmm. Or something that's happened in the states right. like, that the world knows, and then the soundtrack has no African Americans. Yeah, that's pretty much sim a similar situation, mm -hmm. you know. Especially with the language used, like mm -hmm. all these words are from over on this side. So that's unfortunate. I think it was a great album, and I, I know Beyonce. You know, if she had some of the right team around, she probably would have been like, yo, definitely, yeah. let's get more. She, kind of, she really tried hard to it. Make reminds me of that uh, Harriet Tubman story of how they wanted, I think, uh, a white actor to play Harriet Tubman. Julia uh, Roberts? Julia Roberts, I think. And they were saying, but really? I heard a story about that. I don't know, I don't know how true that is, but uh, it was something that came out quite some time back. <laughs> and it oh, went viral. Is, it's a true story. It yeah. was in the 90s. And they were saying, Julia Roberts would play Harriet Tubman? No. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's, where, that's how <laughs> I see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I kid you not. Uh, <laughs> where has 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
something. Nah, nah means father. So okay. to hold the father. Jide, nah. J. Nah. Jide. Jide, then yeah, nah. It's not J. Okay, so we gotta find you a name that has a certain. Well, um, it has to mean something. And uh, DK, DK means like powerful, a hero, yeah. heroic. How about Subi? Which means? Hope. No? I have a lot of hope. You have a lot of hope. Yeah. Subi! Subi means hope, so you're Subi. Actually, That's yeah. meaningful? Okay. okay. Or you can say Omugabi, which is king. Omugabi is king. Yes. Omugabi. Okay. Yeah. Omugabi, so yeah. Subi, which is hope. And Subi. Subi. Many yeah. Yeah, he's getting names yeah, from, one from one East, long, East, eight, 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 West, South. So Subi, mm. Hope, mm. and then you have Omugabe, the king. So Omugabe, Subi, Jidena. What's, what's your <laughs> word for chief? Chief. Kabaka. Uh, Kabaka. King. That's king. Kabaka is king, king. though. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, that's it. That, that, oh, Omulangida. 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 Princess. A prince. Uh, a prince. 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 Omulangida. Yeah, can you work with that? I can work. You give me some options. <laughs> <man. laughs> very, very quick. Very quickly, sorry, before you go. You have changed your style, Jidena. You've changed your style of dress. You've changed your style of fashion, so to speak. Um, you've become sort of more, and you've always been a very artsy, very colorful dresser. Um, but you've gone from that classic look to a more, I don't know, quintessentially authentic, I don't know, I don't know what word to use. But just take us through that. Well, I think it's all authentic. You know? I think it's all classic. The way I wear my t-shirts, I wear them tucked in. I wear a bandana around my neck because it's just a tire and an ascot. Mm -hmm. And I wear slacks and, and pants that are tailored. Mm -hmm. It's never, mm -hmm. I never lose, I never lose the, the idea of classic. But I was never, it was never supposed to just be a suit. Right. I don't even say the word suit in classic, man, if you realize. So I, it's all about your character, number one. Mm -hmm. And then two, it's, Style-wise, to me, it's about finding a silhouette, a shape that, that has a certain way of being chic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm okay. saying? But it can be street and chic. It can be a ratchet and woke. And it can ratchet. be all that. <laughs> like, ratchet and woke. At the same time. All right. Yeah. So thank you so much. You guys are not very controversial. You went with the polyamory thing. <laughs> you guys are avoiding one thing. That's OK. No, no, no. You're not ready for it. You're not ready for me to talk about what? King Mwanga the second. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is so afraid. Uh, well, let me but, say this. Because you know why we don't have this kind of conversation here? Why. It's because of our culture. So you start to have that conversation, then it will end somewhere else. So we would yeah. rather not. We stay away from it. No, don't yeah. worry. But I'm going to say this. Uh -huh. Sorry, you got me here. Uh -huh. I'm not going to speak too much about what you don't want to speak about. Right. But I say, like, to me as a man who it doesn't identify with. Uh, I'm not necessarily Muslim, but I can pray in Arabic. Mm -hmm. I'm not uh, a woman, but I can defend and respect women's rights. Right. I'm not a uh, homosexual, but I can defend the rights of other people who have been marginalized. To me, it's important that we see other groups, and if they're being bullied like our group, mm -hmm. then we respect and, and we open ourselves. doesn't mean you have to agree with everything. Mm -hmm. And so that's what any interview I try to do. Mm -hmm. We're in a very conservative time as Africans across this continent. It's not going to serve us well. People are not going to want to travel here. People are not going to trade here. It'll just be foreign investors that just come in and exploit your land, which is what is happening. So th if we want to actually be a people that has trade and we have wealth for the masses, we have to open ourselves. We have to be more open as mm -hmm. people and stop thinking that what we think is African or we think is Nigerian or Ugandan on these false borders that were not made by us. But we don't if, know what it is. You know, uh, Ugandans will, some Ugandans or Africans wouldn't agree with you. Some of us would love to preserve what we have as Africans and just leave it here. You, other you, than, you know, I understand where you're coming from, but it would be like, uh, we, this is who we are. How are you Reverse. finding out what is African? What is Ugandan? How do you, like, how much, some some you know and some you don't. That's the honesty. Okay, like, but. You don't, history, uh -huh. history is partially memory and partially imagination. We make our myths as we go on. It's partly what you're taught. <laughs> it's, it's everything is what you're taught. You know what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I'm not honestly. Yeah. I'm not even talking to you guys. I'm just really yeah. talking about to the youth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My whole life is not for the people that are even alive. Or it's all the youth uh, know what I'm talking about. Okay. Like, and the same thing in in Nigeria right now. Uh -huh. There's a whole Alte scene, which is a whole alternative scene that's pushing everything. And Nigerians are like, "What is this? Mm -hmm. That's that is healthy. It happens in every country, and we need that now."
Okay, I guess it's different because maybe you grow up there, you understand better, you have a different outlook of things. You Where, know, in Nigeria? No, in the States. No, <laughs> so no, it's no, 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 where was I? Mm -hmm. In Nigeria. Okay. The whole framework has been from a Nigerian in America, an African in America. Yes, you learn new ideas, great, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you travel. Mm. I think travel is one of the most important things. Even exactly. Even higher than a, a diploma in school, it's more important. It's very light. It is. It changes you and everything, and then you change for and change everything around you. But to me, what I'm suggesting is to get rid of the conservatism conservative cultures that we have in the, uh, across this continent because mm -hmm. they're not serving us well. And a lot of what we think is African or we think it's is whatever country uh -huh. is made up and taught to us sometimes by elders, sometimes uh -huh. by school, but a lot of times it's not all true and it's not mm -hmm. all factual. And, and if whatever is true, then get rid of traditions that don't work anymore, mm -hmm. don't serve us. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm preaching. It's in a policy zone. Thank you right. so much, Jidena, for coming through. Go. I like it, I love you. Oh, you know what? Whatever. Again, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm here for all the young ones. All right. Jidena, it's been a real pleasure having you in the studio. Uh, Jidena, um, Theodore, Mulangira. <laughs> so oh, so, so, yeah. so so we, I will see you, of we'll course, at, uh, of course, the A. Bryan's Fashion Awards, yeah. and also on Sunday. Thank yeah. you so much for being with Capital FM. We do appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, that's pretty much it. I ain't got nothing else to say. I'm being whispered in my ear or something. Bye-bye. Hmm? So, so uh, yes, it's going to be taking place where? At, uh, well, Capital A. Serena Hotel. Yeah. yeah, if you haven't got your tickets, you can get them. 100,000K. The dresses should be ready because it's a fashion <laughs> show. Yeah. It's going to be banging. And blankets and wine will be on Sunday. We shall see them, my brother. Thank you very much. Bless her. Thank you so much. Weba Weba How do you say? Weba Leño. Weba Leño. Uh -huh. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank All you. right. Jidena, in the studio, let's sign off with a little bit of this. Oh. Oh. This song. I know that song. <laughs> that one you know. Woo! Man, thank you very much.